I'm great bring this next young gun to the stage. Y'all know this brother, he funny as hell. You have seen him on Mad TV. You know him for doing movies like Jerry Maguire. Y'all, show some all-star welcome to Aries Spears. Let him hear it. So now we good, we good, we, we gotta address some shit. Okay, one, two, three. Damn, it's like four niggas in here with white girls sitting up front. The nerve of you motherfuckers. Ain't this black history, man? What the fuck is your niggas doing? The fuck is your niggas doing? Why you standing up, bitch? Where your man at? What happened? They got them all. Well, bitch yelling like that, you ain't gonna get it, brother. <laughs> I gotta ask. So, sweetheart, you got a Negro, so I gotta ask. Y'all probably have great sex. Do y'all role play at all? Do you role play? No? You don't play Escape Slave and the Master's Wife? That shit. You got to hurry up, nigga. You on the clock. You got a white girl. You gotta take advantage. Halloween, you gotta dress up like OJ and hide in the closet with a butcher knife skin. Ah! Bitch, where you been? I love you. Oh, this white boy got a black girl. Okay, motherfucker, that's what I'm talking about. Matter of fact, stand up, nigga, stand up. No, look, the black woman said yes, motherfucker. Yes. Yes. This nigga pays car notes and everything. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Listen, I'm, I'm gonna let you know, you heard me say it, I don't want nobody to get upset or offended because I say the word nigga in my show. Because the fact of the matter is, I say it because white people, I know y'all say it. <laughs> don't tell me when y'all at home watching the 11 o'clock news and you hear about some of the stupid shit that black people do. Y'all are going, oh my God, these African Americans. <laughs> You're like, honey, look at these crazy niggas. Time out, look at this ignorant nigga here. This nigga got a fish tank for a wine glass. Barack Obama didn't change shit. We thought shit was gonna be different. Nigga, that's Kool-Aid. Look, you can't even walk. Look at this nigga here. That's what I love about that. Look, look how uncomfortable this white dude is. Right? It's like, oh my God, I've seen it on TV, but I never thought I'd sit this close. Don't worry about that dog, he's straight. If he start pulling a knife or something, then you run. But otherwise, matter of fact, let me talk to this nigga for a minute. Pardon me. Um, Bugulum Bungala. Bungayo Bungwai. You straight, you straight. <laughs> you know, it's funny, because when I went to go vote, white people would ask me, so who you voting for? Who the fuck you think? Well, do you care about his politics? I don't give a fuck. Do you like him personally? I don't know the nigga. He black, I'm black, I'm both for the black guy. Fuck that, we might not get this chance for another 40 years. Gary Coleman could have been running and I'd have voted for that nigga. I'd have been in the booth and the world don't move. Don't move. And I know there were white people that got upset about that. I heard you talk about it. I think it's wrong that black people will vote for him for it because he's black. They should vote for the right reasons. Well, I look at it like this. From George Washington to George Bush, every president that this country has seen has been white. My thing is, let's just get the first nigga in there. After the next one, I'll get the right one in there for the right reasons. But let's get the first nigga in there. Because this shit was bigger than Barack, man. Think about the message that this sends to every little black boy in the country. That you can make it in this country without just being a rapper or an athlete. You can be president of the United fucking States. I gotta get behind that. We can finally scratch that off the black to-do list. Like rapper, check. Athlete, check. Black president, about fucking time, check. Next up, Olympic swimming. Michael Phelps, we coming. Watch your motherfucking back. As soon as they learn how to heat that water up, nigga, we are in there. We coming. And I'm not just here to tell jokes. I actually want to give back. I want to help white people. 
I want to be like y'all's black Dr. Phil. Because comics, we don't do much when we're on the road. We stay in a hotel room and watch TV. And I'm flipping through the channels, and I'm watching these, some of these programs like Oprah and Phil, and I'm noticing some of y'all's kids is out of fucking control. I really want to ask white people, why don't y'all beat y'all kids? Beat them with they motherfucking ass. Y'all give y'all kids all kind of timeouts and special places. What the fuck is a special place? To a black child, that's a coma. What is a special place? Black kids don't know shit about timeout. We know about getting knocked the fuck out, that's it. My mother used to slap the shit out of me in public and I would look at people for help. Like, shut up. <gasps> White people felt my pain. Oh my God. She just struck her child. Black people see black kids get hit. We like, hey, get your shit together. You know what I found out growing up totally shocked me? White kids are just as shocked to find out black kids don't talk back to their parents as we are when we hear them talk back to theirs. Because I used to have a little buddy would come over my house on the weekends, a little Nate. We'd be in my room playing video games. My mother used to come in the room on us and cuss me out for no reason. Just scared the shit out of both of us, right? We'd be in the room playing Mario Brothers. She'd come kick open the door like SWAT. We on level four, she just Aries, how many times I done told you to clean this motherfucking room? Cut that goddamn game off and clean this room. I come back, this motherfucking room ain't clean. I'ma take that Nintendo cord, wrap it around your neck and stick it in your ass. Nigga, I ain't playing with you. This ain't no threat. This a promise. Try me, motherfucker. Try me. My white friend would turn to me offended like, dude, what the fuck? She can't do that, man. This is your space. This is your area. She's violating your right to privacy. You should say something. You want me to go say something? I'd be so scared. I started talking to him like a slave from Roots, like, you was gonna get me's and Travis. I like you, Nate. I really do. But my parents is good black folk that gives me food, that gives me sleeps. Now you get away from around here with that foolishness. Get from here. Mm -hmm. My mother smacked the shit out of the white boy. He turned into me. Wait in the water. Mm. <laughs> it's crucial, man. <laughs> I didn't do shit today, man. I sat around the room, smoke weed, watch movies. Cause like my favorite actor, I gotta tell you, is Denzel Washington. That's a cold motherfucker. Denzel got the smoothest walk in show business, don't he? That nigga got that overbite. This nigga smooth with this shit. And I was always a fan, but I got hooked when I saw Training Day. That motherfucker, because we always saw him play a good guy. I never saw him play a bad guy. And he was cool. I smoked a pound of weed and practiced that shit. <laughs> My girl came home. She thought that motherfucker was in the house. I was, <laughs> Jake. I'm telling you right now, hey, Jake, you want to go to jail or you want to go home? All right, my nigga, that's what I'm talking about. Everybody right in. I'm telling you, my nigga. <laughs> Fellas, I'm telling you, hey, learn that shit. I don't give a fuck how mad your girl is at you. You do Denzel, she ain't going no place. <laughs> She might talk that shit at first. Baby, you need to take some time to think about your shit. You be disrespecting me, I'm leaving you. Hey, baby, I'm telling you right now, put the bag down. Hey, put the bag down. I promise you, if you stay with me, I'll love you internally, externally, in every way imaginable. Everything I ever am, everything I ever will be, I am because of you. You're my best friend, you're my lover, you're like, motherfucker, I ain't going nowhere. You just need to learn how to respect what I'm saying. <laughs> A lot of movies, man. Like, I like them crazy movies, too. Like, I just saw this movie, 300 Sparta. Anybody see this shit? Yeah. I don't even like them movies for the action or the violence. I like it for the dialogue. That's some smooth shit, the way they talk in the movies. It's like they got their own language. You've heard it before. My lord. It's my lord, but that's how they say it. My lord. Let it be known that Xerxes is a kind god king. And he offers this declaration as an alternative to war. Now let me speak to the nobles or I will engage with my military. And the other character is always some pompous asshole. Prometheus, please spare me of your banality. 
This is not about war, this is about my daughter's hand in marriage. So neither try to seduce me nor bore me with the belligerence of your insolence. I be in the theater eating my popcorn like, God damn, who got diabetes? This shit. This shit good. <laughs> There's some ignorant niggas in here that don't even think I said anything wrong. They're like, I don't understand. My grandmama got the insolence. I'm a big sports fan too, man. I love sports. Basketball is my favorite sport. It's just fucked up because I can't play. But don't get me wrong. I go to the court. I got the look down. Who are these bitches screaming for? Oh, is that Nelly? Nelly, what's happening, baby? Hey, let me get them earrings so I can feed Africa, nigga. And you know I'm gonna get on Shaq with that picnic table suit. You can eat a jelly sandwich on that nigga back. Like Shaq, I love you, but you are the slowest talking motherfucker in the league. You take two weeks to answer a fucking question. Like Shaq, you and Kobe are feuding, what's going on? I told Kobe, I told Shaq. Shaq know how I play. Kobe know how I play. Give me the ball, I'm a dunker. I'm big brother, he's little brother. We'll be fine. Like motherfucker, what? When Shaq talk, they should have the words with the bouncing ball. Everybody know, we have a good time. You know? Like what? Nigga, you know that eye of yours is like that Fat Joe song. It just leaned back a little bit. <laughs> like, I love Charles Barkley, but Charles is another one. Charles can't talk for shit. It seemed like whatever's going on in Charles' mind don't match what's coming out of his mouth. Like, his mind and mouth is playing Marco Polo. They not on the same accord. Like, Charles, what do you think about Shaq getting traded to the Phoenix Sun? The Phoenix Sun, uh, let me tell you something. Shaquille on now, and def he's de limit Kobe Bryant, limit Kenny, limit Kobe, Kobe, everybody know Kobe, for the pawns, fit the pawns, greatest player. Let, let me tell you something. Everybody, he start throwing in shit that ain't got nothing to do with basketball. Krispy Kreme donut, it's round like a rim, got a hole in. It's important, baby. Got to learn how to talk. <laughs> It's crazy, man. That's why I gotta study people, man. I gotta study the languages, man. I gotta study different, you know, ethnicities and shit. I think that's the key to racism, man. You know? Because at the end of the day, I don't give a fuck what color you are. Everybody got something to bring to the table. And life is short, man. Sample that shit. You don't know what you might be missing. Why deprive yourself of a great human experience? Because you fucking mad. It's ridiculous. That's why I appreciate a good accent. You got the right accent. You can get away with a lot of shit. You be in a club and say something foul to a woman in an American accent, she might slap the shit out of you. Like, excuse me, baby, I don't mean to bother you, but you got a fat ass. I would love to take you home, fuck the shit out you. <sighs> Motherfucker. <laughs> English accent, that just roll off the tongue different. Like, excuse me, I didn't mean to bother you, but I'd really love to take you back to my house and fuck your doggy self a little bit, you know what I mean? <laughs> Motherfucker, I ain't mad, you just got him. All right, before I get out of here, where the hip hop fans at, hip hop? I'm a big hip hop fan, man. I gotta say, man, hip hop, I love it because it ain't just a black thing no more, it's global. And I gotta give some of the credit to Eminem. He has changed the game. And I know some black people try to hate on him because he's white, but fuck that, I give credit where credit is due. That's a bad motherfucker, he has changed the game. Because I'm gonna tell you something, a lot of white boys ain't white boys no more. Some of y'all are us. You got do-rags on now, your pants are sagging, y'all walk with that black swagger. I was parked in a light the other day. One of them white boys crossed my car. I got nervous and locked my shit. Click, click. Like, what the fuck is this nigga up to? This... I didn't feel safe. That's what I'm trying to say. But I like when rappers get together and make good music as opposed to killing each other. Like, if I could have it my way, I'd like to see four of my favorite rappers come together and make a song. I'd have, like, LL Cool J, Snoop Dogg, DMX, and my man Jay-Z. And I say, I'm amazed at Jay-Z, not because he's a great rapper. Everybody know he's a great rapper. How the fuck did he get Beyonce? Because he is a ugly motherfucker. Like, is it me or does that nigga look like Joe Camel? Am I the only one to see that shit? He could finish a whole stick of chapstick in one use. 
But like I said, I have LL Snoop DMX Jay Z. I'd have LL do the intro because he just got that cool, suave swagger. Like LL seemed like he don't even need a woman to be turned on. He can stand in front of the mirror, chest naked, and turn himself off. Like he be saying there, DJ, hit that track for me. Yo, what's up? What's up, baby? This your man, LL Cool J. Oh, ain't nothing like when you put vanilla ice cream on your chest, let it melt down in your genitals. I got my man Snoop Dogg, DMX, and Jay-Z in the building. It's about to be real sexual, real erotic, baby. <laughs> hey, yo, Snoop, holla at me, it's your man, LL. Mm. Hey, yo, one, two, three, and to the four. Snoop Doggy Dogg, taking condoms out the door. Ready to get up in you, so back on up. Grab a condom, cause I'm ready to fuck, bitch, fuck. Having three holes is some gangster shit. You know how a dog do when a gangster pimp. We don't sweat shit, cop, cause we know we can't be faded. We just sit back, debate it, while getting our hair braided. Nate Dogg, Warren G, Daz, and Corrupt, we gon' rep till we done. That's why we throw them things up. For shizzle, my nizzle, in the LBC. You know my name, Snoop Digo, double G. Yo, it's your man, DMX. Where's my dogs at? Where's my dogs? I told y'all dogs about, fuck it with me. I done told y'all dogs about, fuck it with day. When a dog starts to bark, it's followed by the pipe. That's when you feel the pain. And you head for the life. Don't get upset, nigga. That's just how a dog do. And I won't stop here until a dog's throw. I bring that real cell, baby. With that real mail, like that. Yo, Jay-Z, holla at Talk to me, man. It's your boy in the building. <laughs> it's Young Hover, homie, I told you the game's over I got it locked, oh, yo, shit, stop Set stock, caught a persona made for martyr Think you got it locked on barber I'm taking the game farther I'm Croy when I hit, hell and out when I switch I'm like Ike Turner, and what's love when I'm pissed If you have a girl problems, I feel bad for you, son I got 99 problems, but a bitch ain't one Shaboy, nigga I know you just got butterflies, you just everything, your emotions are crazy right now. Dude, you know, it's like before, it's like almost like a prize fighter, man. Before you hit the ring, you're in the locker room working on the pad, hitting your combinations, and you get that, that feeling like you almost want to throw up, get it out of you. But it's the walk to the stage, it's the walk to the ring, the bell ring, it's over. Stand up, man. I love it. Much success, stay and blessed. And I want to know what it's like to get some of that NBA pussy. Oh, man. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>